Let us try to understand what is DevOps, right? So if you say that you want to do software development, there are three majority stakeholders. One is the development team who does the development, one is the operations team who helps the end customer, and one is our end customer who uses our software, right? So there are three majority stakeholders. So what does the development team do? Development team actually plans, it executes, it tests, must be does designing. There are many phases inside this, right? And then after that, the operation team takes that build, the final tested build, and goes live. He trains and supports the end customer, he monitors, and so on. Now, these are two different teams out there, and what happens in reality is that a blame game starts. You know, for example, if something goes live, if something goes wrong in Go Live, the operation team starts blaming the development team, saying that no, you did not code properly, you did not tell you know how to do the build. And the development team also starts blaming you know, the operation team and says that, oh, you don't know how to go live, you don't know the technology, or must be you did not support things well, right? So a blame game starts, right? Now, you know, if you see, even in reality, if you see uh, across like either it's a non-IT company or an IT company, you will find that, you know, these t two teams are separate. Like you have an operations head, you have a development head, right? But in reality, these two people have to work very closely, like a friend. You know, they have to sit probably in the same room. They have to sit side by side if they want to really go and serve this end customer, right? So this, there should be a tight integration between both of the team. And that's what DevOps is all about. DevOps says that that is the dev from the development team and that is the ops from the operation. It says that both of these teams should work together like one team right so for example when you go live in the monitoring if there are issues give a feedback to the development team and development team should include in the planning phase so somebody says oh like the printer is not working out here fine give a feedback here don't keep in your head don't go to the you know when you when you when you're on the field as operations you know you know you see an error and you just forget it don't forget it give a feedback and the development team also acknowledges this, puts in the planning phase, codes it, tests it, and when they are going live, you know, it, he helps, the developers actually help the operation team saying that this is how you do the build, this is how it should go live, right? So you can see over here this nice diagram out here which is very famous, this eight diagram which says that the development and operation team should work together, right? So what is DevOps first? Before even we go towards the automation part, before even we go to the technology part, DevOps is a philosophy, for me at least. It's a philosophy which says that the development and operation team should work together. They should give feedbacks, they should probably sit in the same way, they should smoke together, they should you know, uh, try to become one team. The end customer should not see both of them as two different teams. So that would make a project successful, that would make a software successful. So that is what is DevOps. So I hope that at least this part is understood. In the next lecture, we'll try to understand the automation part of DevOps. Thank you.